suggest that uh, people should definitely stay away from. Stay away from? Yeah. Um. Beeswaxes. Beeswax. Um, alcohol. alcohol. You don't want to dry out the hair. Um, okay. What else? Beeswax. Alcohol. Um, what if y'all had people coming? Because y'all know clients will bring their products in on you. Oh, that souffle stuff. What, what's that? Um, <laughs> uh, it, they get it out of Walgreens because they swear by it. It comes out of Walgreens. Well, it's out of Walgreens. I First of all. Right. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, and then all your um, products with the... Um, African Jamaican yes. lime, honey. Uh, <laughs> Baby, if that doesn't have all the petroleum, honey, <laughs> it's like a wax. Yeah, straight and I'm over here like, man, no, we could have got yeah, we could have got Vaseline yeah, and used that and put Vaseline. some nice so, mango juices in there. Yeah, somebody right. brought me, you know, <laughs> so, um, to do their hair with, and I told them I can't use this because yeah. we're gonna end up with a bunch of lint by the time we leave out of here. Okay. She's like, well, that's all that works. I'm like, well, you need to try something else. Yeah. So we can try something else because what I make is my own oil that I use. Yeah. And I told her everything that was in it, and the only problem was there wasn't no gasoline in it. Right. Now, what, okay, like, what do you guys do? Because both of you ladies, because I'm at a stage in my career, well, my life, not even just my career, just who I am as a person. My patience is short. So, <laughs> I don't do transitional hair. You know, either you want to be natural or you're not. Either you want lots or you don't. You know, and I can remember in the beginning getting people doing the transition, and you tell them, you do the consultation. You tell them, okay, well, when you come to your appointment, we're going to have to cut half your hair off. This half of your hair is, is relaxed. The other half is natural. When we finish cutting this off, the half of your hair that's left that's natural, and we twist it, it's going to draw up to a half of that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're looking them in the face, and they're going, yeah, I understand, I understand, I understand. Yeah. And when you make that first shot, <gasps> oh, God, Jesus. So now you got to be natural to come to me. I, I don't even. Yeah. I don't even do that. Um, what are, What's some good transitional tips that you guys can give in reference to their hair and mindset for it? Because I don't have the patience. It depends on the mindset they're coming in with to begin with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because um, usually they come in on a, okay. I don't want to cut none. First, they start off there. Or if you do get the haircut, you start to do the haircut. Like you said, they'll gas for air because they. All of a sudden, they don't know what, what the hell we were talking about. <laughs> but is that, do, but my, at the same time, I think also if your perception, you gotta have a whole perception yeah. of change, and you gotta be ready for change. I yeah. cannot make you ready for change. So at the end of the day, um, I think the change starts within. And if you don't have that, and if your client has not grasped that, then the transitional is going to be hard for you, the yeah. stylist, as well as the client. Yeah. And um. Sometimes I just have to say, well, then we're, we're really not ready. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're really exactly. not ready. You know, maybe, you know. What like, are some what are some key words that, what are some key things discussed during the consultation that make you realize that they're not ready yet? First one. Oh, favorite, honey. Well, um, you think that will look right, right for work? <laughs> Number one, honey, number one. Number one, you care what somebody else thinks. You're and not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. Because if you're still, you know, fighting against what no, the media I, tells us to look like, then, baby, you, you still got progress to do before I, I you get a, to me. I had you know? a consultation that lasted me an hour because she, I mean, she was one of the ones that just really didn't know what she wanted. An hour consultation? I mean, we just sat there, we just sat there and talked after a while. Like, after a while, it became a conversation because she didn't know what she wanted. So I was like, okay, well, since you don't want to cut your hair, because she had probably about that much natural hair. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. still about the same amount and uh, relaxed hair she just didn't want to cut it I told her okay well since you're not, well, you're ready, not ready for us I'm yeah. like well since you're not ready to cut it why don't you get it braided and mm -hmm. uh, get it done and any type of styles that will allow your hair to grow out until you're ready to cut that off because there's mm -hmm. no start and nothing until that comes off exactly. it does not it does not mat up into the end of your locks it doesn't become the closure piece none exactly. of that right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. and, 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 and then when you say that and when you think that you're going to have locks with perms at the end 
Yeah. Oh, they want the curly ends. And you, then you want to put a roller on it. Right. And you're, you're <laughs> asking me, yeah. and you're asking me, is this going to look, look right, right for work? work. Right. Well, baby, that ain't never looked right. Right. That ain't never looked right. <laughs> Two different textures. You got a little spaghetti at the end. Yeah. And, you know, a thick cocoon up top. That's not cute, sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. So you just yeah. hold it. That's just worse as as bad as people that do perm and you're holding on to see-through ends. To yeah. me, you know, yeah. yeah, so it's just you know, you really gotta have your mindset there. Yeah. That's, I think, that's the main thing, and you know, and then too, your mindset. But then, I, I also always go back to stylists knowing each other, there's so much division in our industry, and just with the three of us sitting right here now. talking, we have already talked about some experiences that all three of us have had. Mm-hmm. with different consumers and then we've all told our personal stories where okay Nikia and Mecca know not to fuck with that person <laughs> you know if they come there's a reason for us to know each other so everybody can have a peaceful journey in this life and style is a natural hair you know so I always go back to get to know the people in your industry there's been several times I've been at public functions and we'll learn the next day that somebody else that was there was a natural hairstylist that didn't introduce themselves to me. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> there is no way on earth. I will tell you, there's been some, well, there were some legends that I knew in New York. And anytime I go to New York, and when I seen them, I walked up to them, hey, motherfucker, you don't know me. I'm from the Midwest. My name is Terry Baptiste. I'm going to be a future star, but I want to let you know now that I admire your work. Right. And later on in my career, I be, these people that I was originally a fan of became colleagues and we, uh, uh, you know, later became family. Mm-hmm. You know, so we have to support each other. You cannot go around thinking that you're going to talk negative about me. And think when you see me, I'm gonna embrace you. Right, exactly. And I think that's you just have to be humble, you know. Yeah. Humble and knowing that you got it's okay to um, be at the um, bottom of the stairs, but you're oh, still yeah. climbing. You're I still say climbing. everybody has to, you know, get to that point of you know greatness, and yeah. it takes time. But you know the thing but that, that, that I think a lot of people think that, that they don't have to get they they can automatically leap to that. You know, well, what I'm not saying? only so, not only automatically leap to it. But think that they have to take another bitch down. That's it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's, now that's where the problem is. <laughs> yeah, you do not have to take nobody down. else yeah. down They're to get to the top. Yeah, you can get sh- to the top without taking me down. Yeah. Well, first off, you, you, you know you can't. Forward, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't take me down. I'm too educated. Okay. I'm too educated no, to be taken down or be a slave. Okay. <laughs> I think it's hard for some people because you you have people sitting up trying to tear people down yeah. to make themselves look better. Yeah. And I mean that will hurt you both ways. Yeah. It hurts the industry. It hurts the industry as a whole. You know, it was no, really... but it will hurt them more because they're oh, the yeah. ones talking shit about everyone to okay to boost themselves up and then yeah. okay. You well, you know the thing. What happens up. in my city is that it's easier people. People, you know, people have been friends with social media. You know, you're not only able to be friends with people in your industry, in your city, but you're able to befriend people around the world. I got haters all around the universe. <laughs> you know, and you'll get, you'll hook up with somebody, you hook up with somebody like Dando Confelli in New York that'll hype you up into uh, trying to clown me. <laughs> now you in the dark too. <laughs> No, you know, no, stop no. letting other people hype you up into disrespecting people who have helped you in right, the industry. Right, right. There is no, because my whole thing is this. If Mecca came up to me and said, uh, I don't like Nakia, go on Nakia's wall and say something about me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you say it. Why I got to say it? Okay. <laughs> I'm not your puppy. Right. Right. I'm not your why, puppy. Why can't you say it? Why? Why do I got to say it? I don't think people I, take. I want to know what she gonna say to you because she gonna she gonna say right. something different to you. What she gonna yeah. say to me? I want to know what she no, gonna say to no. you about. You know, it. you you had already stitched your head back together from trying. It. <laughs> yeah. So you know not to try it. But then you you, you put you you sucker punch these young people into disrespecting mm-hmm. uh, people, and then they've missed out on the opportunity that you've already fucked up over. Right. You know, because you can't go back here. I don't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. You know, but this young person could have grown from me and you. Because I'm the type of person where if I don't do you, 
we don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not territorial when it comes to friends. Right. You know, my friends that are hairstyles can be friends with anybody <laughs> in the world. You can be friends with somebody I don't fuck with. I see dead people when I see them. But you do not have to. A lot of these people out here, well, if, you, well, if you're not my friend, you can't be their friend too. And young people are so, young stylists are so uh, thirsty to be liked that they'll do anything in the world. And it's almost like that TV show. I haven't watched TV in 13 years from what I've heard about it. Like the TV show, Making the Band. Uh -huh. You want to be a part, but walk across uh, the country to get me a, a, a cheesecake. Cheese right, right. You'll be a hungry bitch waiting on me okay, to walk okay. across the country to get you a okay. cheesecake. No, serious. You know? Yeah. So, uh, we need to know each other. We don't need to be enemies. And even if we don't like and each don't, other. And don't believe everything that you, somebody has that girl. you hear about another person. <laughs> First of all, you should have learned that in school, high school. High school should have taught you that. See, I didn't go don't to high Don't go school. around repeating anything <laughs> that somebody but, else said that you, you have no proof on. Wait a minute. Right. But you're going to say you know for a fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can't do that. No, I, I, mean, didn't, I didn't go to high school growing up. I went to Case, and that was enough of a high school. Yeah, yeah. She, she was home. Talk. I was homeschooled. Homeschooled. But yeah, and I got all, all that from Case. I learned. I mean, I had to learn more about the. You know, it's a whole style. It's a whole salon. So that's my. That was my first. Well, when I was in cosmetology school, I didn't fuck with my uh, people in cosmetology school. I was cool with you, mm -hmm. but. Baby, I was about to, I was there to get them hours and get the hell up out of there, you know. And half the bitches that, that was in there rapping and talking and gossiping are asking me where do I want to sit when I go to a restaurant right Yes, now. yes, yes. They're not in yes. the industry. They are not in the industry yes. at all, you know. Uh, and stay educated, stylists. I'm going to say that forever. I am a nationally renowned loctician and an educator. I have taught classes across the United States. I have done educational DVDs that have outsold around the world and I still take classes today. I've shared information with these ladies today about a class we're all going to go to. There is no way in the world that you can think you can be on top without being educated. You know, the hypeness will, you can get on top with hype, but you ain't gonna stay on time. No, 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 You're not gonna no. stay on time. You can you can get up there. You can get up there. Peak. Okay, honey. You can peak. Yep. And it's slide right there. <laughs> <laughs> or you gonna but float you gonna on a bubble, honey? Right. But the bubble will bust. Yeah, but get you're not gonna slide. stay on top and, unless you're educated. Yeah. Um. Traditionally, about you know, and, and this is an odd conversation because I'm talking to two younger stylists who've come along after me who have been somewhat influenced by me in the industry, but they have still come across people who are old school traditionalists when it comes to natural hair or locks, you know, where they, I don't believe in cutting my locks, I don't believe in coloring, and I don't believe in this or that, you know, okay. Talk about that, talk about that. I mean, because people may try to make it seem like, okay, if, if you get a, a, a traditionalist client, you can't do their hair. No, if you don't want your hair color, you don't want your hair cut. I can still do it. Exactly. Yes. But you ain't gonna be able to get these pitch, this these styles in this book. Exactly. Exactly. You can still be taken care of. Do you guys try to? Because I personally, I don't try to force anyone into the new era no, of nothing. Do you let them be, do their thing, or do you try to? Oh, I got plenty of people that. Um, oh well, not I got a few. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say plenty. Yeah. That um are really kind of um, naturalists that yeah. don't um really care to have their ends clipped, don't really care to have a style, don't yeah. just really want to just come in and get their hair done. Yeah, yeah. and we um, welcome that. And we that's fine. That. And fine. And that's definitely fine. And um, that's one of the things that the older generation of hairstyles they try to uh, turn consumers against the new generation well they doing too they much hype them. stuff they chastise them yeah they chastise them to make it seem like we're just you know we don't Mark. know anything we're doing at this point yeah mm -hmm. or we're, we're definitely you're going to hell if you get if you get some color yeah. but, but, it's yeah. the same, but this is how and i also say this too you know yeah there's a lot of um regiments that people want to stick to that's old or you yeah. know or they want to put avocado on their hair and banana yeah, on your yeah, hair well you do that at home that's fine yeah but at the same time there is new technology i'm not going to go to the hospital if i have cancer or have and ask for you know old remedies when i need radiation 
Exactly. You know, that's that's you know that's new, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you do gotta take some of the new with the old to see what works. Uh oh. Better. Oops. <laughs> We're live. Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so um, it's good. It's good for you know your okay. clients to research. Yeah. It's good for your um stylists to know. Um, I think the goods of both sides so yeah. they can explain oh, you should to, know it all you to explain all. to their clients so you know at least they can have the knowledge to make um good you know good choices yes so and knowledgeable choices 